Okay, let me explain you a little bit what's going on here. I don't know if you can see the memory, see? Typically, in a DDR2 environment, with an Asus motherboard, when you install the memory, the configuration was bank A, bank B, bank A, two, bank B, two. Now, with DDR3, I just went over the manufacturer specs. They changed the freaking configuration. Now it's like AA, BB. So if you see here, we have a problem, okay? And the problem is that they are one in A and one in B. In order for me to make this work right, to do dual channel, I have to put another one in here. And the way it's gonna that the way that's gonna happen is to get one of these, the high one, which will go on top of these. And back here, I put a single one without the cooler. Now I'm worried about this one because it's stuck in there. See, I don't know if you can see back there. Let me get close. See, it's basically no air going through that, but it might get hot enough. It might not. I have a big uh, 230 millimeter brown in air into the case. It might work. I don't know. I see. If I, if I see it's going to get hot, I'm just going to pull it up and work up 6 gigs anyway. But 6 gigs will be here because I could put another one high here. Now, if you see from here, see, it's going to end up up to here to the fan. But that's not a problem because it will be another fan on this side on the pull and push configuration. And then you got the back fan pulls that out. So I think it's, it's going to work fine. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, I had a, a heck of a problem with inner marks. I mean, this guy, that's all the stuff and it's like, oh my God, they're a freaking nightmare. Anyway, uh, that's it. See you in the next video.